Hi friends, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Commerce with Mamita. I am Mamita Mani. In today's video, let us solve the example of valuation of goodwill by purchase of super profit method. In the last video, we have solved the example of valuation of goodwill by average profit method. The link of that video you will find in the description box. So, without wasting time, let's start the session. Now we are going to solve valuation of goodwill by purchase of super profit method. So to solve the valuation of goodwill by purchase of super profit method, total we have four steps in this method. Okay. Now this is the example. The net profit of Bishaw and company Dombabli after providing for taxation for the past five years are uh, as under. So for the first year that is 2019 to 20 the profit is 80,000. 20 to 21 the profit is 85,000. 21 to 22 the profit is 92,000. 22 to 23 the profit is 1 lakh 5 lakhs 1 lakh 5,000 sorry 1 lakh 5000 then uh, profit for the year 23 to 24 the profit is 1 lakh 18000 so this is the profit for the last 5 years which the company has provided the next the capital employed in the business is rupees 8 lakhs the normal rate of return expected in this type of industry is 10% it is expected that the company will be able to maintain its super profit for the next 5 years. Calculate the value of goodwill on the basis of 5 years by purchase of super profit. So this is the example. Now to find uh, goodwill by purchase of super profit method we have to first calculate average profit then calculate normal profit then calculate super profit and then last calculate goodwill by the purchase of super profit so for each calculation there are formula given okay now first we will calculate average profit now to calculate average profit was what is the formula that is total profit less if any losses are there we have to less divided by number of years now in this example there are no losses all five years there is profit so total profit divided by number of prof number of years so for the first year the profit is 80,000 plus second year the profit is 85,000 plus for the third year the profit is 92,000 next uh, for the fourth year the profit is 1 lakh 5,000 plus for the fifth year the profit is 1 lakh 18,000 now divided by number of years so 5 years profit is given so number of years will be 5 years now add all this profit the total we will get 4 lakh 80,000 4 lakh 80,000 is the total profit divided by number of years that is 5 once we divide 4 lakh 80,000 by 5 the average profit we get average profit is equals to 96,000 so average profit is 96,000 okay now first step we uh, calculated that is average profit so average profit we got 96,000 now second step is to calculate normal profit so the formula to calculate normal profit is capital employed into normal rate of return 
Now in the question, they have given that the capital employed for the business is eight lakh, and the normal rate of return is how much? Ten percent. So, capital employed is eight lakhs. Into ten percent is the normal rate of return. So we get eighty thousand. Okay. So normal profit we got eighty thousand. Normal profit normal profit eighty thousand. Okay. Now the third step is to calculate the super profit. So to calculate super profit, formula is what average profit minus normal profit. So how much did we get the average profit? Average profit we got. Ninety six thousand. Okay, less the normal profit. Normal profit we got eighty thousand. So we get sixteen thousand as a super profit. Okay. Now the fourth step, that is the last step, is is uh, last step is calculation of goodwill okay so calculation of goodwill by purchase of super profit method the formula is super profit multiply by number of years purchase so pro super profit we got 16000 into number of years purchase how many years the data has been given Five years data has been given. Five years profit has been given. Okay, so we will assume C year they have given on the base of five years purchase of super pro profit method. So multiplied by five. So we get sixteen into sixteen thousand into five, that is eighty thousand. So rupees eighty thousand is the goodwill. Okay. so in this four steps we can calculate or we can do the valuation of goodwill by purchase of super profit method so remember one thing the first step in calculation of goodwill by purchase of super profit method first step is to calculate average profit second step is to calculate normal profit third step is to calculate super profit and the last step is calculation of goodwill so for each this thing the formula is different for average profit formula is total profit if there are any losses less divided by number of years then normal profit formula is ca capital employed into normal rate of return for calculation of super profit average profit minus normal profit then for calculation of goodwill by purchase of super profit method the formula is super profit into number of years purchase okay so i hope friends you have understood this example thank you very much please subscribe my youtube channel like and share the video and do not forget to press the bell icon to get the latest notification